Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading Aries, I do want to let you guys know we have a video coming out where I'm going to go a little bit deeper into the royal conjunction that we're going to be, um, that is going to be hitting a very pivotal moment in December the 21st. So I will uh, be uploading that if you're interested in seeing how this is going to affect your sign, definitely stay tuned for that. Let's get into your reading, Aries. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of December in regards to love. How are you doing, Aries? I see you guys very empowered. Um, very, your energy. I feel that you guys are going to be like definitely um, with the Emperor card here. This is your card, but I see you guys like being very magnetic is, is what they're saying. Very magnetic. Um you know, catching people, taking glimpses at you, that type of energy, um, and empowered more than anything. I see you guys really focused um, in trying to achieve goals and aspirations. Um, anyways, let's get into your reading. You have the Emperor card here, the Angel de la Nut. We have the Moon card and the Tower. Wow. Okay. Major transformation, Aries. I feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a situation where there was not much clarity. Um, there are certain things that are starting to come up or that will be revealed in the month of December for you. If you've been feeling, if you've been dealing with someone for a while, <coughs> excuse me, and it hasn't really, it hasn't really moved from a stage. Now, I know this is not going to connect with everyone, but what they're showing me is dealing with someone like for quite a while, but it's never progressed into anything. And there is something within you. There is like this feeling, this type of inkling, like they are meant to be in your life. I feel that that feeling is going to only be um, concrete in this coming full moon. Because with the moon card and the tower, this is like complete transformation. This is awakening, but this is also getting clarity that is going to really transform um, or change a certain perspective of you, of how you viewed relationships in the past. Um, for some of you guys, this could even represent like being unsure if you ever wanted some type of commitment, some type of, uh, you know, settling down and out of nowhere, these feelings start rushing in and it's like, it's now or never, or time is of the essence. This is Saturn's energy that they're telling me. Uh, Saturn's energy is all to do with, again, feeling restricted, feeling like you have to make a choice now, because if not, you may miss out on an opportunity. I don't see the tower as a negative thing. However, it can resonate with everyone very differently. It's a general reading. But what they're telling me here is with this coming full moon, right? The moon is secrets, it's uh, feelings, suppressed feelings, um, things that are under surface, uh, wanting to get to the sun, which is enlightenment or clarity or insight. So next to the tower, there are certain things about yourself, Aries, that you've been either suppressing or resisting when we're talking about relationships that I see that unfolding. Uh, now, this could be uh, affecting you with the royal conjunction as well, uh, feeling like your path, like you're on this path and out of nowhere, you have this sense of urgency to take a detour, to make other things a priority or to make relationships and partnerships and uh, family a priority. So again, um, be mindful about that if you're feeling like you know, time is of the essence. Don't go rushing in, getting yourself into a relationship that uh, just because they're there, you know what I mean? Like, be patient with this. Now, how the partner is viewing the situation, we have the strength card. So I feel that they've been dealing with this type of energy of, uh, you know, wanting to want some type of commitment from you or wanting to have uh, some type of loyalty from you. You may be dealing with the situation where you guys have been sleeping together. Uh, and it's just never been official. And how they're viewing the situation is at this point, they're trying to get the strength either to push that subject or the strength to walk away from this connection. 
Now the next card here is the Four of Wands. So yeah, they're definitely wanting some type of commitment, Aries. Uh, they are, they're, you know, they're stuck in the mud with you. Like meaning, if they see that there's something, uh, it could be you that's been resisting commitment. It could be you that has made it clear that you're not really ready for any type of commitment. But they feel like they can tame you or they feel like their love will be enough for you. With the Four of Wands, they're definitely wanting some type of stability. They're wanting some type of commitment at this point with you. We have the Three of Swords here. Okay. So, okay. So, what they're, let me pull out this other card just to get clarity. Okay. Yeah. So, here's the thing. What they're showing me is at the bottom. <laughs> Ace of Cups. Love or new love or an understanding of your feelings and intentions. Okay. And I just seen it, so I don't usually read the bottom ones, but when I do happen to see them, I have to acknowledge them, right? All right, so we have the Tower with the Moon card and the Ace of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles. So what they're telling me here is for some of you guys, there is a cycle that's ending. You may be dealing with a person that perhaps you didn't fully want to commit to. And this person has been holding on to the idea or the potential or of what you can become, but you're not there yet. Uh, so they're hopeful. They're hopeful about getting that type of commitment from you. With the Three of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles, it's like they're not wanting to give up. They feel like they've invested too much time at this point. Um, but the Three of Swords is here. So with the moon. So I feel that their expectations or what they've been expecting from you are is too high. I feel that there's been some type of, you started off with the emperor, so I feel that there's, you've been straightforward or perhaps not very forthcoming. However, you've kind of made your intentions clear. And I feel that this person keeps holding on to the idea of what you guys can be. Now, with the moon card and the tower, there is something that it's almost like an aha moment that's going to be coming to you. And it could you could experience this either in the royal conjunction or the full moon that's coming. Where it's going to open this Pandora's box to what you really want. And you're going to come to the understanding or realization that what you want is there. It just hasn't been activated because you don't want it with this person. Now, I do see with the Ace of Cups here, I do see you coming to the awareness that there is feelings that you have, but it's towards someone else. The moon is hidden. The moon is on a subconscious level. This is deep, deep in our emotions. With the Ten of Pentacles here, there is transformative energy, but this transformation or this awakening or this understanding is going to lead you to the stability or emotional stability or commitment that you're able to give. You're just not able to give to this person. So if you've been dealing with multiple people, I feel that in this month of December, you're making your choice. You're making a decision uh, or you're choosing to be willing to give this commitment, but I don't feel that it's towards the person that you've been dealing with up until now. For others of you, this could be acknowledging that there is a connection or there is a feeling of wanting to put effort towards someone that is around you. We have the Four of Wands and the Strength card here. So these two cards together, you've been lusting or desiring someone for quite a while with the four of wands this could be in your social circle this could be a person that is around you it could be a friend um for some of you guys you may be dealing with a leo you may be dealing with a scorpio cancer pisces type of energy you may also be dealing with earth energy taurus capricorn virgo type of energy but i feel that you with this ten of pentacles i feel that you are going to make it known exactly who you want. It's like you're no longer playing games. For some of you guys, you've been running away from commitment for quite a while. For others of you, you keep jumping from one relationship to another 
because you don't feel like they fulfill you enough. But the truth of the matter is because perhaps you haven't had a deep connection. But I definitely do see a deep connection happening or unfolding. Or you're already aware that you've made that deep connection, but it comes as a surprise because it could be with someone you already know or you've been dealing with. For some of you guys, it could even be someone you've been expressing what you're going through with this person over here. So I feel more like a friend type of energy. Let's see what Spirit's message is for you guys. There is definitely an awakening that's happening for you, Aries, in this month of December. It's like you go from, I'm not sure if I'm ready. I'm not sure if I want to commit. I've, you know, been hurt in the past. I don't want to put myself in that situation, etc., etc. It's like all these excuses of why you don't want to commit. But the truth of the matter is you probably haven't committed because you haven't found someone worthy enough for you to commit to. But I definitely see that changing very quickly. Now, for others of you, this could be a situation that turns around. This could be a person that you've been that it's been you who's been interested in. You've been waiting for some type of commitment, some type of green light. Uh, some type of communication that they're wanting you. And I feel that for this month, you're definitely getting clarity on that. It could be them. You know, it could be them coming to you and um, explaining to you. Okay, so we have the fourth card. Uh, sorry, fourth card. Fourth uh, chakra. Archangel Raphael. This is healing energy. I feel that. Whoa. Okay. And the next card, door to value. All right. So here's the thing. This is uh, healing energy, Aries. I feel that like you've been carrying around a lot of kar karmic energy. Um, it's almost like when things start to go good in every single aspect of your life, when it comes to relationships, it just, it's a mess. Um, or it could be that you put yourself in situations where other people bring drama and a mess, you know, to the connection. Uh, you're definitely going through some type of healing here. The moon and the tower, there is um, a major transformative energy that is going to take you in the next chapter of your life, knowing clearly and concisely what it is that you want. And not being afraid. I feel you guys being open to love or getting to the point of being open to love and knowing that you want and deserve commitment or stability. Now with the door of value, this represents your self-value. This represents knowing and understanding what you deserve. This is you going after what you want. So in regards to this, I feel that if you've been entertaining other people on the side, you've always had your eye on someone. And I feel that for the month of December, you're taking that action. It's like, I know who I am. I know exactly what it is that I want. I may just not want it with you, but I'm going towards the person that I know I want. And you see value in them as well. So this could be a person that is, uh, for some of you guys, this could be a person that is, uh, you know, very independent, self-reliant. This is a person that perhaps is not really pushing out love, but it, that's not a priority in their lives. And you can kind of respect and admire that because that's maybe how you approach love as well. So again, like I said, I see major transformations here. I feel that you're cutting ends to fey weather connections or relationships that you know are not going anywhere. And you're walking towards or you're taking your power back in regards to, you know what, I think it's time that I be clear with my emotions or with what I want. I just don't want it with you. And you're walking towards um, who you feel is going to make you happy. Um, so this could resonate with everyone in different ways. Take what fits with you. Uh, don't try to force. If this doesn't uh, connect with you, don't try to force it. It is a general reading. I suggest if it doesn't connect, look at your rising or your moon sign or Venus. Okay. All right, my lovelies. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. Happy holidays to all of you guys. I wish you the best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.